Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox. And the Greens are at it again. Yet another mad idea deliberately setting out to damage the economy of Scotland, make people impoverished, make them miserable, and to do everything they can to ensure that Scotland steps one, further, one foot further back into medieval times. These people are dangerous. This is why you never, ever let the Greens have power. And that is why the SNP have made such a big mistake. We now have a moron, another one, Ariane Burgess. She's a, a very ill-looking green, presumably a vegan, who's telling farmers to not breed animals and to plant trees. I don't know about you, darling, but I'm not uh, someone who can eat a tree. You know, um, I find them to be a bit tough. doesn't matter how long you boil them. What a moron. Does she not realise how much Scottish meat as an industry does for the country? It's one of Scotland's biggest money spinners. She is such an idiot. And also, where do you think people are going to get their meat from if they're not getting it from Britain? Where controls are in place for animal uh, safety and for quality purposes, they'll just still eat meat. They'll just get it from terrible places. It would be damaging to people, damaging to animals. It will do nothing for the environment. And anyway, have you seen Scotland? You're not going to get a lot of uh, crops up there. What are you going to do? Go and pick all the barley. Yes, well, you'll get that. But you won't get a lot of, uh, you know, the top crop, you know, that requires warmth and uh, things like that. It's not particularly good for crops over a large part of the country. Going to the Highlands, the only thing you can raise up there are sheep and coos. You stupid, stupid woman. Anyway, let's have a look at this piece. You'll see what she looks like. And like, I'm not kidding you, she doesn't look well. I think she could do with a burger. Anyway, here goes. So, madcap Scottish Greens MSP tells farmers to stop breeding livestock and to plant trees instead. Highlands and Islands MSP Ariane Burgess, who might not be there much longer if she keeps coming up with crap like this, uh, was blasted by the farming community over her request for a constituent to move away from breeding farm animals. Nothing wrong with delicious animals. And there she is. There's a woman who doesn't look like she's eaten much meat uh, in her entire life. Although I do notice the colour scheme, uh, the purple and the, the cream there, um, obviously uh, someone, I'm going to presume that she is uh, anti-trans, I would have thought, since that particular colour scheme is the suffragette colours. Um, and the, currently they're the colours used by uh, keeping women real, you know, that sort of thing. Um, so it's very, uh, I think it's very brave of her to stand in that parliament and wear those particular colours and align herself with that particular party. I suspect it might be just a mistake, given that this is the Greens. But anyway, uh, a Scottish Greens MSP has come under fire from the farming industry after urging a farmer to stop breeding livestock and instead focus on planting more trees. You know, the thing about this farmer is he wants to make money. And planting trees doesn't really bring in the same amount of money as a delicious, you know, lamb chop, for example. Hmm. Very nice. Sorry, just away. Ah, oh, imagining. Anyway, anyway, getting back to it. It is the latest madcap suggestion from the party, which is currently part of the Scottish Government, thanks to the morons who agreed the Butte House Agreement, meaning that they prop the SNP up. My God, the, the, I tell you what, this is another one that the Greens, have, uh, you know, the green tail wagging the yellow dog. The Greens need to stop. Uh, sorry, the, the, the SNP need to stop listening to the Greens. They need to sort of tear up the Butte Agreement and tell them, look. Here's how it works. You sit there, you vote with us, and you get, you've had your policies. Now shut the hell up and don't say anything else because everything you say damages us. Now here's the thing. People living in the Highlands, a lot of them rely on farming jobs. And if you're telling these people, if you vote for us, we'll take your jobs away, how do you think you're going to do, you stupid idiot? Anyway, Highlands and Islands MSP Ariane Burgess prompted anger amid the farming sector after she wrote to one of her constituents, urging them to switch from livestock farming to tree planting and peatland restoration. Do you do know it takes about 40,000 years to make peat, don't you? You silly, stupid woman. Uh, farming is one of Scotland's biggest industries, with Scottish beef and lamb eaten across the world. It is also important north of the border, with local food meaning less carbon emissions from flying products in from other countries. Yes, but she can't understand that because she's very, very stupid. We know she's stupid because she's a green. None of them have got the wit they were born with. 
Uh, farming is one of Scotland's biggest industries, with Scottish beef and lamb eaten across the world. I would have done that. Uh, sorry, Farmers Weekly reported that Miss Burgess wrote to one of her constituents and said that increasing income from practices that sequester carbon and enhance biodiversity would reduce the need to rely on cows and sheep as a way to generate income. Bull, and also leave your green little fingers off my pies. I enjoy a nice bit of lamb. Uh, I love a nice bit of steak. Uh, and I will eat that. And you cannot... Uh, suddenly come out here and start politicising my food. I have evolved 4.3 billion years of evolution has got to the point where I have got teeth that rip meat and eyes that are for hunting. So shut your face, you stupid burk. Uh, anyway, she then added that rearing cattle does benefit the environment uh, through well-managed grazing, dung and breaking up the soil, but added it is crucial that we identify the most appropriate stocking density for each geographical area. My God, she's actually seen the truth that we need animals on land to help the land. Oh, my God. Yes, and more animals are fine. Just you not understand that, you know, there is no problem with food. Humans can't eat grass. Here's the thing. Grass is not, you know, you know it's, it's, it's just totally inedible to humans. Cows can eat grass and we can eat the cows. So ultimately, we're eating grass that has just simply been processed. That's all it is. But when you've got grass up there, you can't grow, up in the highlands particularly, you can't grow any kind of cash crops. Not many. Um, the weather isn't there. The winters are too long and so on. That's why you don't see vast fields of wheat, for example. Go to East Anglia, on the other hand. God, it's a sea of wheat. It really is. It's arable farming as far as you can see. But Scotland doesn't have the ability, and especially in the highlands, the only thing you can grow up there is things that eat grass. So cows and uh, and sheep particularly. A lot of chickens as well. Um, I, I know that. But cows and sheep are the big things because they process what you've got. And what you've got is grass. Lots of it. And if you start building and putting up forests everywhere and trees, where are you putting the sheep? You're going to lose biodiversity. You know, it's, these people are so thick. Anyway... Her comments angered the farming industry so much that William Moses, who sits on the NFU Scotland's Less Favoured Area Committee, wrote an open letter back to her in response. He said, I am pleased to read you recognise some merit of cattle in the context of regenerative farming. However, you appear to see this only in the context of predetermined stocking densities within your remit of formulating agricultural policy. How will that work? In some farming circumstances, a policy approach of do what we think is best for you or you don't get the paid is tantamount to financial blackmail, which, as far as I'm concerned, runs counter to the core of the principle of a just transition. Mr Moses went on to say that upland grazing system with its rainy grasslands was the single most environmentally sustainable form of agriculture. It certainly is. Um, he, then he then called into question its economic sustainability, pointing out that support for less favoured areas had been in real terms declined since even before Brexit due to inflation. And it is understood that many in the farming community are growing concerned about the trajectory of the current SNP Greens government amid fears they are pushing an anti-meat agenda. They are definitely pushing that. We, they want everyone to wander around looking rather sickly, thin, uh, you know, barely able to hold their heads up like Ross Greer. Um, you know, but but supercilious and uh, you know, might better look at us. We sit on our on our high horse, looking down on you. Yeah, how the hell did you get up that high horse? On the backs of those who could lift you up because of their good meat eating diet. These people are sick, aren't they? Anyway, uh, there she is, Mrs. Sick. Decided that she is going to single handedly destroy the Scottish farming industry because she doesn't like you eating things that don't, you know, that, that come from a cow, basically. The tofu-eating, sandal-wearing, strange colour scheme woman um, who hasn't got a clue about the farming industry, but thinks she does because she's a green and is therefore, she's lovely. She's a moron. I'm coming up. What is it about the greens and the SNP that the only people who join them are complete low IQ dimwits? They have no experience, no real world experience. They don't know uh, the subjects they're talking about. They have no conception of what they, they will do should they be allowed to have real power. They would make misery for millions. They would create, crash the economy overnight in the mistaken belief that they're doing some good for the environment. Let me tell you, my dear sweet 
thick thing that there's a bigger problem of the world than global warming and uh, you know if we don't start feeding the world properly we are going to have uh, probably an extinction level event and it would be people like you who are doing this because of your your lack of understanding your lack of education your inability to accept that other people have a viewpoint that is different from yours and also the main thing is you you don't actually have the intelligence to understand that even when presented with evidence that that evidence is contrary to what you say that you can accept it you refuse to accept reality you're delusional and your delusions are going to make life hell for everyone else and ultimately for you as well because when the entire bloody economy collapses around you what are you going to do you won't be buying your tofu in uh, Marks and Spencer's, that's for sure, because tofu comes from a long way away. You stupid idiot. Anyway, I shall round off there. Thank you very much for watching. If you like what you see on the channel, please hit that subscribe button, ring the bell, leave a like, leave a comment, please share the video. Definitely leave a like. And until next time, stay safe, stay well, keep eating those burgers. Bye.